Esper appears to backtrack on Beirut explosion cause after White House pushback to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, the bottom line is we still don't know what caused the explosion, Esper told Fox News in an interview that aired this weekend. Despite his comments that some were speculating that the explosion may have involved an attack, several defense officials told CNN on Tuesday the U.S. military did not have any information pointing to an attack, an assessment echoed by Esper on Wednesday when he said most believed it to be an accident. Yesterday I commented that it was looking more like an accident and it's regrettable that some in the media, are trying to draw divisions within the administration between maybe me and the president and others, it's simply not true, he said. Esper told the Aspen Security Forum on Wednesday that the U.S. was still getting information on what happened. Most believe that it was an accident is reported and beyond that I have nothing further to report on that. It's obviously a tragedy. Hours after Esper said most believe that that the Beirut explosion was an accident, Trump appeared to cast doubt on the plausibility of it being an accident at a White House news conference, saying, how can you say accident? While also saying, right now you have some people who think it was an attack and some people that think it wasn't. White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows went even further when asked about Esper's assessment that the explosion was likely an accident, saying, from Secretary Esper's standpoint, he doesn't know. On Tuesday, Trump said that he had spoken to some of our generals and that they had assessed the explosion to be a bombing attack. The explosion in Beirut left at least 158 people dead with dozens missing. More than 6,000 people were injured in the incident. The bottom line is we still don't know what caused the explosion. Esper told Fox News in an interview that aired this weekend despite his comments that some were speculating that the explosion may have involved an attack, several defense officials told CNN on Tuesday the U.S. military did not have any information pointing to an attack, an assessment echoed by Esper on Wednesday when he said most believed it to be an accident to view the full article, click the first link in the description below.